Hello everyone. Today I am going to give my presentation on the topic consideration from Indian Contract Act 1872. In this presentation I am going to discuss the meaning and definition of consideration and some essential conditions for consideration to be valid. So let's start the presentation. We know that offer plus acceptance it results into an agreement and when enforceability by law is included in the agreement then it results to a contract and there are so many essential conditions for a contract to be valid from all of them one of the most important is consideration it is a very important essential which is important for a contract to be valid now question arises what is consideration consideration is something in return for example mr a sold his car to mr b for rupees 50000 here the rupees 50000 is consideration for a in return of his car and for mr b the car is consideration in return of 50000 which he gave to a so basically consideration is quid pro quo according to indian contract act section 2 defines when at the desire of promisor the promisee or any other person has done or abstained from doing this is known as consideration for that promise so basically consideration is what something in return of any service or any act done by the promise now here are some essential conditions for a consideration to be valid if these considerations are not fulfilled then consideration is not considered a valid one so let's discuss these conditions one by one so first is consideration must move at the desire of the promisor if any act done at the desire of third party it cannot be a consideration let's understand it with an example uh, there was an officer who ordered mr a to construct shops in the market and accordingly a constructs shops in the market and these shops were allotted to different persons one of the shops is allotted to mr b by the officer officer has allotted the shop to mr b not a now b occupies the shop and he was very happy he promised mr a that he will give him a certain amount of money later on b refuses to give him the amount now a mr a went to court and filed a suit against mr b now here a question arises whether he is eligible to recover that amount from mr b they went to court mr b said that what will i get in return if i gave him certain amount of money then a said that i had constructed shops at on expenses then mr b said that shops are not constructed on my desire these were constructed on the desire of officer so the court held that consideration must move at the desire of promisor and here mr b was the promisor the shops were not constructed at the desire of mr b then he is not liable to pay amount to a next is consideration may move from promisee or any other person let's take an example there was an old lady who transferred her property to her daughter at a condition that her daughter will pay 10000 rupees every month to her sister later on daughter refused to pay the amount to the sister of old lady then the sister went to court here daughter held that if i am paying her 10000 rupees what i am getting in return the sister of old lady said that 
consideration is moved to you by the her sister so the court held that consideration may move from any other person next is consideration may be past present or future now present consideration is what when both act and consideration are performed simultaneously when the act is performed in present and the consideration for the act is promised to be paid in future that is future consideration and past consideration is for the consideration for an act which is done in the past next condition is consideration need not to be adequate it is not important that consideration should be adequate it should no it can be or cannot be equal to the price of the thing which is traded it is not important for a consideration to be adequate next is consideration must be real it should not be illusionary it should not be any act which cannot be performed which is impossible to perform for example if man promise to discover treasure by ma- magic it is not literally possible <laughs> next is consideration may not be unlawful or immoral it should be lawful if any illegal thing is given in return then it is not a valid consideration as you can see the example next is performance of what one is legally bound to perform then no consideration is required for such contracts for example a lawyer is bound to fight case to provide justice to his clients he cannot charge any extra amount or any extra charges from his clients because he is legally bound to perform his duty so no consider- consideration is required for such contracts these were the some essential conditions for a consideration to be valid thank you so much hope you all liked my presentation thank you very much